Hi, this is Tyler from rent coop and here's a quick setup video on how to install your gate handle. So before you start, you can see that there are multiple ways to set up your fencing uh, along with this gate handle. So take a look at these three or four different ways and choose what's best for you. You can see there are the package contents there, and the only other thing you'll need is a hammer and a Phillips head screwdriver. So most of you will be starting out with a fence that is already set up and the two end poles will be tied together. So you can untie those and move the posts off to the side to start. So the first piece we'll be starting with is the base piece and you'll want to hammer both posts into the base piece. There is a notch on the right and left side that allows for the bottom horizontal wire to go through. Next thing you'll do is take your three stakes and you'll put one in the front right hole, one in the front left hole, and one in the hole in the back. Then you'll hammer the left post into the base piece. Next you'll take hook A and hook B and you can see that they are different shapes. And the easiest way to do this is to put the handles together and then slide the hooks in so the hooks are facing the same direction. So if you're left-handed you'll want to put the handle on the left post and if you're right-handed, you want to install it on the right post. So because I am right-handed, I'll be installing it on the right post. You can also see that there should be four silicone pieces inside of the handle, and those are white. So check to make sure those are there before you begin. So the next thing we'll be doing is getting the four screws, and we want to put the screws on the side of the handle, in this case the bottom, that the hook is closest to. That is where the screws should start to be screwed into. And we also recommend using a Phillips head screwdriver. We do not recommend using a drill for this part. The next thing you want to do is test that the gate handle is able to grab onto the post. And if not, move it up or down before you screw all the screws as tight as you can. Now you want to make sure that your fence post is easy to take out of the ground and put back in. So you want to make the hole a little larger. You can do that with a half inch drill bit if you've got it. And just drill a hole in the ground there. Or you can move the post up and down and hammer it in like I'm doing here. Next thing you'll do is move the wires off to the side. Hook them to the top line. This will make sure they're not dangling down while you are trying to get in and out of your fence. The last thing you'll want to do is just test that everything works. So go ahead and take it all the way off and put it back on and see if the tightness of the wire is good. And make sure that the handle does not fall off when you bump into it easily. This product comes with two guy lines and pegs. You can see me adjusting the guy line tension there. And if you do have an issue where the handle is too loose, you can tighten the guy lines. And if it's too tight, where you can't hook the handle onto the post next to it, you'll want to loosen the guy lines. And lastly, if you're hooking your gate handle up to a post that is at the end of the line, you can use an extra fence post and set it up like this. Okay, that's it for this video. If you purchase this gate handle, we hope it works out well for you. Thank you so much.